Okay, so today we are going to look at Quark OS, which is an Ubuntu-based Plasma OS uh, that I've come across. And yeah, we're basically going to take a look at that. Uh, as soon as you start up the live environment, it gives you this option for a welcome screen. And I'm going to click on Desktop Profiler. And as you see here, it basically gives you, you can choose a fully featured desktop environment. Or you can just select the Trinity environment uh, along with it. So you can choose, have, it looks like uh, both of them installed. And it gives you a fully featured uh, system. So I'm going to choose, um, okay, doing that install doesn't work on the live system. Uh, okay, more options. Let's configure the desktop wallpaper. Okay, nothing there. Settings. Uh, appearance okay so they do have a bit of a q for us uh, theme going on here so let's get this thing installed and then we can take a look at it okay it uses a calamari's installer I'm just going to speed through this. Oh, and here's the option. We have the q desktop. Basic. Live. Here. I'm just going to choose desktop. Erase a disk. Click next. Install. And let it uh, do what it needs to do. And we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so we're all done. Let's restart now. Okay, so now it's configuring the system. We can either do the desktop profiler, we can store applications. Right, so you can definitely see here there's a lot of QFOS uh, here, if not uh, really seems to be a big basic portion of it. So let's say, for example, we want FileZilla. Uh, I can just double click on it, click next, and again, it looks like a normal Windows application that's being installed. So next, uh, finish that. And if I was to go to internet, well, bam, FileZilla is there. So let's close that. Let's do proprietary codex, uh, set auto login. I'm just going to cancel that. More options, hardware info. Okay. As you can see here, we're using kernel 5.15, so it is Ubuntu um rts and of course jammy so let's just go here and under appearance of course they've got this q debonair so i'll set it to that and then also as display let's fix this and system uh, monitor using about a gig of memory it's pretty low usage, low CPU usage. Again, it's not doing anything. And looking at the installed applications, we've got Conqueror. That's yeah, so interesting that include Conqueror still. This uh, was the web browser and file manager of KDE before Dolphin came along. Still a pretty decent uh, piece of software, this. Um, that uh, brings me back memories. Okay, uh, games, not much. Internet, of course, we've already looked at that. Multimedia, uh, YouTube browser for SM player. What? Oh, uh, okay. So we can just do, gosh, it's arch. And we just click on a video. Okay, yes. No. I can't download it for legal reasons. Okay, so I don't know. Don't... Yeah, you can't do anything with this. Uh, that app seems to be pretty useless at the moment. Um, so don't even bother. Office, of course. LibreOffice.
uh, 7.3.72, so starting to show its age a little bit. Science, nothing there except math. Bible config system. And of course, Dolphin, and of course, the QFOS Welcome Center, which Quark OS is renamed. Uh, they do have Crusader uh, pre installed, which, if you don't know, Crusader is an excellent uh, farm manager. So, basically, very similar to the old Norton Commander or Mythmite Commander. Um, you have this here, which is actually pretty awesome, and you'll even notice the shortcuts at the bottom are the same. I'm just going to close that. And then looking at Discover, of course, let's go to the settings here. You can add FlatHub, uh, FlatHub at the back end. They've still got, by the looks of it, Snap is pre available, as well as they've got Flatpak and Package Kit back ends. So what is this? Well, this is essentially taking Ubuntu, adding X-Force uh, options onto it, and adding Flatpak and App Images, and of course, uh, tweaking uh, KDE. Because that's of course what, what this is. And allowing folks to download it. And you know, perhaps there will be a newer version in the future, because in of course, 2204, while still supported for a number of years, is going to soon uh, be replaced or 24 is going to come out. I must be honest with you, I'm not too sure why you would use this over normal q for us Perhaps someone in the comments can let me know. Um, you know, even the screenshots of this uh, application had a, it had a real Windows look to it. Um, and of course, out of the box, that's not how it even looks. So I'm a little disappointed with this uh, distribution. I don't see too much uh, more to really go on or talk about. So I'm actually probably going to end this video over here. Let me know what you think of it. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.